What are you gonna do with that stuff? Good morning everybody. So, as you just saw, April is going for her very first bike ride with Ray because she's actually letting us leave the helmet on her now. She's a little bit older. We did try probably about six months ago or so. I'm really sure. I'll leave a clip in here of how well that went. Mommy, put it on. <laughs> so yeah, now that we know that she'll leave her helmet on, we are trying again and Ray has just gone out for a bit of a sunny morning bike ride with her. Cooper is asleep, he's feeling better, thank goodness, no more fevers. Um, he still had a bit of a rough night anyway, just a bit fussy and he's just a little bit fussier in general at the moment. Pretty sure he's going through a bit of a clingy phase, like he just wants to be held all the time. I did see one of his gums was actually quite inflamed, so I do think he is teething. I think that's part of it. I don't think that's the whole reason for how he's been feeling, but I think it's part of it. So yeah, that's kind of what we're doing this morning. I'm about to have a shower and get ready. Um, and then by the time I'm out of the shower, they'll probably be back home. I was literally halfway through showering and he started screaming. So I don't know what's going on with him at the moment. But he doesn't have any fevers anymore. He's a little bit snuffly, so maybe that's bothering him. I don't know. But definitely part of it, I think, is a separation anxiety thing. Because right now he is clinging. I don't know if you can see that, but he is clinging onto my arm. He's just, he's just so needy at the moment. Yeah. Well, you want his cuddles, which I'm not going to complain about because cuddles are great, but it's all the time. <laughs> I can't even put him down for five minutes, so yeah, it's rough. But I know you're not going to be like this forever, so I'll take it when I get it. <laughs> hey, buddy. What are you doing? Okay, so it's later and I'm actually sitting in bed at the moment. I have been dealing with... Some very randomly, horribly bad stomach pains. I don't really know what it's related to. It could just be indigestion, it could be heartburn, it could be something else, it could just be stress. <laughs> All I know is it's just, it's just been hurting a lot. The only thing that has been keeping it at bay has been a heat pack just constantly placed on my stomach. And also I've just taken some neurofilm which has actually started to kick in because I'm not feeling as much pain anymore I can actually get comfortable so yeah I'm not really sure what's going on there I've actually got some friends coming around in an hour or so once the kids are awake um, to just hang out and catch up and have some adult contact <laughs> There you go. What are you going to do with that stuff? Alright. See you later. Come on. See you April. Bye. Hello. Hey. How are you doing? Mm. So Chris and Rafa have gone. It's good for them to come around and just hang out for a bit. They look after the kids. At the backyard they played. And well, we got ready for dinner. Cleaned up a bit and Lauren had a rest after that. I'm just going to go on the computer, do some work, and then call it a night. And see you. We'll see you tomorrow. Hello. So we're in hospital. Um, kind of a frantic morning. Cooper was up early and uh, he was really unsettled this morning. So that was not part of the reason why we came. Lauren's the main reason why we're here. Lauren had a pretty rough night. Uh, stomach's still very sore. Um, doctors have given her morphine already, so she's a little bit 
drugged up. Let's get some fluids. Um, waiting on a blood test, but possibly think it's uh, enlarged gallbladder. Inflamed. Inflamed. So I don't know what the uh, repercussion of that is, but hopefully we'll find out soon. Lauren's parents came and picked up April and Cooper. He's getting checked as well. He's got an ear infection in his left ear. Um, so giving him about an hour to check him again and he kind of fell asleep on me so I've plonked him down now at the end of the bed and he's sleeping so that's nice. I've never had morphine before. Yeah. It is a trip. <laughs> Good. It's a very weird feeling when it first hits you. Particularly when it's through like obviously an IV. It's just like a whoo straight away. <laughs> but yeah, but my pain went down like almost immediately so it's good. <laughs> I'm just really hoping that there's some sort of resolution. The other hard thing is I'm going to be flying out this afternoon to go to work. So, what time is it? It's 10.40, I've got to leave in like four hours. So I'm in that awkward position of uh, dumping the kids on the grandparents and leaving and hopefully Lauren's look can look after herself tonight. So. It's all happening at once. This all week and weekend, same. just... Yeah. We're over it. <laughs> discharged and my dad came and picked me up and brought me back home um ray had actually already left for the airport by the time i was actually being discharged and he's currently now on a plane my mum and dad actually um offered to take april and cooper with them to their house um to look after them for the night so that i could actually get some rest so i'm extremely extremely thankful for that because Without Ray here, it's just, it's hard enough on, on my own without Ray here, but when I'm feeling like this, I really just need to rest. So basically the gist of the whole thing is, is that there's no solid answer as to what's going on with me. I got seen by a gastro surgeon, I know that's not the typical term, but he's a surgeon that, that deals with gastro stuff. I get, is it general surgeon? Is that what it is? General surgery? I'm going by Grey's Anatomy, to be honest. Anyway, um, after looking at the ultrasound results, um, he saw that there wasn't any issue with my gallbladders, um, but I did have a enlarged spleen and an enlarged liver, and one of my kidneys on my right side, which is where I was having the pain, has uh, scarring and scar tissue on the side of it. That combined, plus, he is... He literally said this, 99.9% .9 sure that I have an ulcer. Whether or not it's a stomach ulcer or a um, duodenal, whatever that thing is. <laughs> There's something else in there that's not your stomach where you can get ulcers. Or it could even be you know, a hives hernia. It could be anything going on. Sorry, still in pain. <laughs> anything going on in that stomach area that's just causing this pain. It is, it's kind of like belly button and and up so it's kind of from basically the breastbone down I have pain but it seems more localized towards the bottom near my belly button when the morphine started wearing off um, I was actually being discharged when the morphine was wearing off so right now I'm in a lot of pain um, and I need to take some painkillers and I'm very thankful as I said that the kids aren't here because I can take my painkillers and just go to sleep because I didn't get any sleep last night so 
I'm really hoping that the painkillers work and I can just knock myself out for the night. So in terms of what to do next, um, it's kind of a whole other discussion really, but I do have to go and get a GP referral to a gastroscopy, gastroscopy. I never know what these terms are, but the tube they stick down your throat to look in your stomach and all that sort of stuff to see where the ulcer is, if there is an ulcer or if it's something else or yeah, just have a look in there. For now, I'm just treating it with, I've got some antacid medication, some prescribed antacid medication and some um, like antacid liquid stuff that tastes like toothpaste. It is disgusting. I'm messing up on my words here. I'm really tired, so I'm just gonna go. Comment of the vlog from the last vlog goes to this person here. Question of the vlog is, when was the first time you were ever on a bike? Whether or not you were on the bike like April was, or did you get, you know, carried around in one of those little tent trolley things that you can put on the back of it? It's the first time you rode a bike, the first time you were on a bike? Oh my god, I'm tired. Okay, thank you all for watching. Good morning, afternoon, good night, whatever it is where you are, and we'll see you on the next vlog. Bye.